I'm your in Imperial Beach. You've got to stop in at Jersey Boys Diner, where East meets West. Jersey Boys Diner has everything from Philly cheesesteaks to chicken fried steaks. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner, the boys have got you covered. Along with snacks, cookies, and the coldest beer in town, you'll feel right at home whether you're a transplant or a local. Jersey Boys Diner is located at 875 Seacoast Drive, Imperial Beach. We'll see you there. Okay. Hi, Susanna. Hey, Johnny. Uh, what do you like? Candy. Oh, who doesn't like candy? <laughs> who doesn't like candy? Among other things. Oh, I'm telling you. And you know what? We have a new candy sponsor. Not oh, to say cool. we don't have an old candy sponsor. So we still have the we old have an guys. an additional. An additional. Exactly. Sponsor. And these guys are brand new, and they are in Imperial Beach. Oh, cool. And it's called Seaside, because it's very close to the sea. Yeah. Seaside Candy. Yeah. And you see all that. Oh, <laughs> guess what? <laughs> We're going to have to have all the candy on the table here. Yeah. Because we don't have the green screen like I was anticipating. Well, and you'd be able to say, look oh, at all that candy behind you. Yeah. Yeah, but not tonight. It's okay. But you I know. know. Seaside Candy in Imperial Beach. I Check know. them out. And you know what else they make? <gasps> they make fudge. Oh, really? Oh, yes, really. Fudge. They make fudge. So if you're so looking for fudge. Slash bakery? No, it's just fudge. They okay. have candy. They have candy like you're seeing all over the place here. Mm -hmm. But they also do fudge. Have you ever gone to the grocery store and bought a fudge kit? Like you can bake no. brownies or cakes and stuff like that. They don't make one for fudge. They oh. don't make one for fudge. You seem very upset about that. Well, I'm concerned. <laughs> I'm not upset. I'm I concerned know. that a person right off the street can't go into the grocery store. And just make fudge. Exactly. So, I hear you. but that's why we have Seaside yeah. Candy. It's an issue. It is. <laughs> <laughs> I have several issues. The passion in your eyes when you were talking about the lack of fudge in the <laughs> grocery I, aisle I know. concerns me. So, they have all different flavors and everything like that. They're on Palm Avenue. I believe it's 150 Palm Avenue. Mm -hmm. If you're going down Palm Avenue, okay, in Imperial Beach, mm -hmm. and you start to float, You've gone too far. Okay. Okay, so you turn around, go about a block. When you hit the water. Yes. You're too far. If your hat starts to float, mm -hmm. even your hat starts to float, you've gone too far. So that's where you want to go, Seaside Candy in Imperial Beach, if you want candy. Because yes. I want candy all the time. Yeah, I but know. But there again, you know what? That's why you can't have coffee. I you know. You can't have candy and <laughs> coffee. That way you would be out of control. I know, I'm way out of control. But there again... <laughs> Not the reason we called, is right. it? Right. No. Yep. You have a gentleman next to you who has something yes. growing on his head. Yep. Would you like to in introduce this gentleman to us? <laughs> um, well, here next to me is uh, the Mexican liaison to Hava San Diego, which is a Polynesian, fest Polynesian festival that takes place. His name is Filipe Gonzalez. Yes. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. Um, so first, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, where did you grow up? What's your What's your background? All right, my background is I'm a, I'm, a, I'm Hispanic Mexican. Mm -hmm. um, I have a, a influence of the te Polynesian culture, and I pretty much was raised with Polynesian people. When okay. I How did this happen? Uh, I certainly met a friend, my neighbor friend, that Careful actually the, just makes a lot of noise. Oh, by the way, if you're going to hit the table, hit it with rhythm. Rhythm. Oh, okay. Exactly. okay, because it makes a lot of noise. So. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> And so uh, she introduced me to the culture. Okay. Uh, ever since then, I took over and I took a risk to, you know, learn a different type of culture that is not uh, that is not mine. your own. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yes. Now, when you say Polynesian, what does that encompass actually? It encompasses the triangle of the Tah uh, Tahiti, Samoa, all the islands, uh, the triangle of uh, Polynesia. Okay. Yes. So, do you know them all, or is yes, there too actually, many to mention? I do. Okay, uh, go for it. Let's see if you got it. Tahiti, Samoa, Tonga. New Zealand, uh, Fiji, and of course Tahiti. Okay, yes. great. I've been to New Zealand. Oh, nice. Beautiful, beautiful nice. country. Awesome. Wow. Awesome. Yes, awesome. it's a must for anybody out yes. there, by yes. the way. Beautiful. Now, nice the headdresses that you're wearing, uh, I noticed that she has a little bit different than you, so yeah. there's some sort of significance between if I was walking down the street and I saw you, I would say, ooh, you're somebody, and you are somebody else, mm -hmm. kind of. So maybe you could tell us a little bit about the how these headdresses work. Sure. Okay. Well, this one, of course, is my crown for uh, actually it's a given, it's earned for a competition at the Heva San Diego. I myself won Mr. Heva Talent 
for my ability to have a true passion and love for the culture. So this is a crown that was designed by Coco Anthony Terrao, also known as Coco. Uh, he also designed me the sash. Oh, really? Yes, the sash. Does it say? Oh, it says there it is. Miss Mr. San Diego. Talent, Talent, San Diego. Yes. Yes. Oh, nice. And, Beautiful. You know, All made so of um, little, uh, shells. little shells. Yeah, little shells. And of Lovely. course, got to represent the pearl from Tahiti, which is a very you know precious pearl in the islands. Uh, and that's a big pearl there, by the sure way. Is. It sure looks is. very... Uh, <laughs> Expensive. Yes, it is. <laughs> I'll let you borrow one from Okay. Oh, you have another one on your I crown sure there. Yes. Beautiful. Yes, thank yeah. you so much. Tell me about mine. All right. Yours is, of course, my design and creation for the Love Portrait of Tahiti. It is actually the crown that I've designed. It's very modern. Also, it really ex expresses the love with the red really expresses the love of culture from Tahiti. It brings out the red in her eyes. It sure does. Look at how beautiful <laughs> she looks. <laughs> just don't get too close, actually. She might, you know... <laughs> I might burn right Start through you. Or like something. lasers. <laughs> yes. I'm proud doesn't, of it. Doesn't she look beautiful today? Do you know who did her hair and makeup? Who? Our friends over at Inga... Inga Bazayo, right yeah. here, actually just a block away from the Horton Grand Theater, exactly. Inga Bazayo Salon, wonderful group oh, of ladies, by the stories, way. Oh, stories, isn't it? Yeah, wow. they're going to come in, they're going to come in and, and chat with us a I little know. bit. I know, I just awesome. wanted to point that out. Yes, awesome. so yes, hair and makeup by the lovely Heather over there. And, uh, wow. Well, I have to say, really fits your makeup and everything. Well, thank you. Makeup. Very nice. Thank you. Yes. Um, and so, are these are all real feathers? They sure okay. are. The rooster feathers. Okay. Um, and everything that they use in Tahiti, most of it, everything is natural. Yeah. Natural fibers. Uh, of course, they do blend it with the feathers to make okay. it more dramatic. Yes. Nice. I want to take this home with me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so very quickly, we're going to just introduce us to Hava San Diego. What is the purpose of this festival? All right, Hava San Diego uh, is an organization that brings everybody together, all the groups from including uh, Japan, Mexico. Internationally. Internationally. Oh, very, wow. Very internationally, and it's growing very, very huge uh, through coming years. Okay. Uh, Hava San Diego is a place where everybody can express their love for the culture, for the Tahitian culture. Uh -huh. And uh, we pretty much run by um, different um, uh, uh, different things that in in the in the organization, such as the pageant. We have a pageant as well as soloists and groups that are willing. You to have dance comp solo dance competitions, group yes. competitions. Yes. You have the pageant for yes, Mr. and Mrs. Yes, and that's what we're going to see, right? We're going to exactly. see two competitors yes. for the Mexico representation yes, Mexico. of Hava San Diego. Yes. Is that right? Yes, okay. Yes. So I'm excited to see that. Yes, and excited. we've got some dancers coming up, so that's going to be really, really cool. Yes. Now, if um, somebody wanted to audition to be in the show, what would they have to do? They actually have to be have well knowledge of the culture, and they have to actually dance the you know dance Tahitian for them to willing to participate to enter uh, the competition. Yes. So give us the website. Make sure that we get that out there. Yes. It's uh, www.hevasandiego.com. Right here. Hava San Diego. Hava San Diego. Dot com. How are you spelling that? It's yes. H E I V A. Yes. All right. Hiva. KavaSanDiego.com, yes. um, and uh, actually, our, our rep from Inga Bazayo, <laughs> I got it right. I wasn't working on it. Uh, just walked in, so whenever we want to pop her in here, that'd right. be great. Um, and so you're the Mexican liaison to Hava San Diego, yes, and um, so are you, are you originally from Mexico City? Or? I'm actually from Tijuana. Oh, okay. I'm originally from the border of Tijuana. Okay. How do you get to be the liaison? Who, 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 because of your crown, or because of my talent and my my knowledge of the culture, mm -hmm. and as uh, uh, res uh, respectfully um, earn it, I've earned this 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 crown, this uh, this talent. Mm -hmm. uh, and truly, that opens up a lot of doors. To and what is that? Success. What is your responsibility as the liaison? What as do you an ambassador, to do? As, as an ambassador, ambassador to uh, Hava San Diego and Tahiti in her island, it is to per to perpetuate the culture, to teach um, others the the true meaning of Tahitian, mm -hmm. the love for the culture, 
and uh, be creative if you see these two headpieces Great. right here that I designed. So we just have a couple seconds left. Um, be, be sure you visit havasandiego.com. And uh, coming up next in our next segment, we're going to have some Polynesian dancing. It so works we're for me. excited about that. All right. So we're going to take a break. Yes. We're going to be right back. You'll have time to pluck your feathers. <laughs> your fe I'm going to keep this. I don't know about you. And this is Johnny. <laughs> and this is Susanna. With the talk of San Diego.